What's up squash players? It's Pierre from Squash Source. I have a review today of the Dunlop Hyper Fiber XT Revelation Pro Lite. Big thanks to Dunlop for sending me this racket to review. I have been testing this out in a couple of matches and have some feedback for you. I loved this racket from the moment I started hitting with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with that. Uh, I'm going to compare it to the prior version of this racket, and I'm going to compare it a little bit to the Ali Farag version of the rack of this racket, both this Pro Lite and the uh, Pro Revelation Pro are coming out with new versions in 2019. They Dunlop have redone the cosmetics. I think that they look really nice. The it just looks more kind of um, tidy, I guess you could say. I mentioned in the unboxing video how they have on the frame their as they call it a flying D. That's their logo. Uh, fits into the kind of color scheme of the racket. And this is the old one. It's nice in that well, it's nice for Dunlop and that it promotes uh, promotes Dunlop on the side there. But uh, I just think this looks a lot cooler uh, with the color scheme. This is the Ali Farag one. Uh, I guess I'm going to launch into the comparison of the cosmetics just for a second, which is the Ali Farag has the, the black Dunlop silk strings, and the Pro Lite has the white strings, and again, black grip for the, for the Pro, white grip for the Pro Lite. So the way to tell them apart, because it's the same color of sort of brightish, orangish red, is that the light racket is lighter in color and the grip and the strings. It's also lighter on the scale. The balance point of this I measured at 36 centimeters, which is kind of uh, medium, I would say, versus the Ali Farag, which was at 38 and a half centimeters, which is uh, two and a half points higher, as, but this is just quite a head heavy racket, definitely for someone who has the arm and wrist strength to uh, to use it to full effect. Even as someone who's played squash for most of their life, I even find this one a little bit um, hard to uh, hard to handle. Maybe for uh, maybe it really is for the for the pros out there. Although this has a lot of fans that within squash source, I'm just not strong enough. Even though when you look at these guns, you might think I might be, but the Pro Lite, this is more my style. And the prior model, I remember, I remember liking it, but mostly as the fact that it was a little lighter than the uh, than the Pro, and I could maneuver it a little better. But it, I, I, as I recall, I thought it was just a little too light. If I'm kind of splitting hairs, and uh, the racket I'd been playing with was um, was actually the Dunlop Evolution uh, for the last. 12 months, which is was a bit heavier, so this was quite a departure. The reason why I liked this new model of the Pro Lite so much was, and it does, it feels different. It's not just cosmetically different. It felt different on court. In the old model, that the weight is more here in the head on the sides. I could feel it at th three and nine o'clock. And that was, the, the lightness of this racket was the fact that, you know, the balance, the weight, the extra weight was here as opposed to in the top of the head. This one felt a little more higher up, a little higher up. Not It's not head heavy, but it just felt higher up than this one, than the old version. And so, I was confused about what was going on, and I talked to uh, to Phil from Dunlop about what the difference is between these two rackets, whether there was a difference, and he told me that the actual the the specs of the racket, the manufacturing process of the old and new models, they're meant to come out on average the same weight and balance from generation to generation, but that the Hyper Fiber XT model, uh, which is the new one. The the reinforcements, this is some kind of, I don't know, ballistic fibers or something, but uh, it's reinforcement for the frame. And they've, in the new model, they've put it at, 
he said 10, I think he said 10 o'clock and two o'clock or whatever, the, wherever the clock is. It's a little bit closer to the diagonal point here. Um, I guess where you can see these little kind of hash marks on the, uh, on the frame. And also down here in the throat, interestingly, the overall feel was one of more, a little, it was a little stiffer. Whereas this one, I could feel it coming through the ball. The old one, I could feel it coming through the ball nicely and it was steady kind of at this point of the shot. This just felt overall more kind of of a solid hit and it was it was still light enough that I could maneuver it in a, if I got stuck in a tricky situation like stuck in a back corner or or a ball comes at me quickly and I have to think fast and with the with the pro with the Ali Farag one I'm just not able to get on it quick enough if I get stuck it's fine if I have tons of time to set up and take a nice proper swing but in a tricky situation I like the pro light um, much better and I think I'm probably going to be switching to this racket for this year. So it's definitely a um, it's definitely a a winner in my uh, in my book. In terms of the measurements, I think I said this came out at 36 centimeters on my scale, which is I believe the same as the prior model. And the weight of this. 151.5 grams all in. It's an advertised weight, 125 grams, 151 and a half all in, which includes the grip and the strings. That is quite similar to the prior version, which was only about a gram lighter. And there's of course some variance in the manufacturing process. So they did turn out the same in terms of, oh, and the old one had 36 centimeters balance point too. So they turned out the same in terms of specs, but the feel is definitely different. And in my opinion, definitely better. So, um, so definitely happy with this one. Another thing that I like about Dunlop rackets, and this is a personal preference, is I like smaller, a smaller grip. This is a bit smaller than your, um, on the smaller side for, for grips, no different from usual if you're used to Dunlop. Uh, it's just one thing about the grips that I, that I do like. I like to lay a little flatter in terms of how I hold the racket. A bit like Ali Farag, a guy I play with who really doesn't like how he holds the racket. So <laughs> I'm kind of laughing, but I do the same thing. I like to hold it kind of flat. And if it's a bigger grip, I end up feeling like it's more of a club in my hand, whereas this allows me to, to hit it flatter. One thing I will say about this is it's light, it's nice and stiff, but unlike my prior racket, I'll do a head to head comparison in another video, but unlike my prior racket where it's a bit heavier and it's more like a battleship. The other one, when you start swinging, as long as you get it started, it's going to come through the ball. This is light enough that you might think, oh, I'm just going to, um, yeah, I won't take much of a backswing and I'll be able to flick it. And then you forget to actually take a swing through the ball. And so you definitely have to, when you're preparing your shot, you definitely have to remember to actually swing through it and put a little of the, of the weight of the head behind it, or you're going to end up with a, um, uh, with, no follow through and a dead shot. So that is, that's just something that had to click in my mind as I was switching from a slightly heavier racket to this one, but it was uh, overall, like I said, definitely a favorable impression. So that is the Dunlop Hyperfiber XT Revelation Pro Lite.